to another SDR Zone video. This is November, India, Zero Zulu here. Today we're going to look at uh, how the new variable attenuator impacts a receive signal using my Onan 100D. We have RX1 being fed via a splitter, leg 1 of the signal unattenuated. In leg two from the splitter, we have the variable attenuator. We're going to attenuate RX2 while watching both RX2 and RX1 on the pan adapter display. We'll attenuate down to about 50 dB. That's when I can see the signal more or less disappears and becomes unintelligible. And then um, we'll also compare at 30 dB what uh, the attenuation selection for RX1 does um, versus the same amount of attenuation. We'll pick 30 dB as the number and see the difference um, and impact on the pan adapter. You'll notice that the entire signal, including the noise floor, will drop with the manual attenuator. Whereas on RX1, you'll see that the signal itself is being attenuated while the noise floor remains constant. This was just a simple test to see what I could expect when I go to compare radios and give everybody an initial feel for what things will look like when I go to do that here in the future. So I hope you find this video interesting. Um, there's nothing really special to it. And uh, I won't be talking really anymore after this, uh, so you can just visualize that. And uh, I'm sorry you won't see when I'm doing the attenuation other than to watch the pan adapter display. I will tell you that I am going in increments of 10 dB. The attenuator will actually allow me to be uh, very specific in either units of 10 or 1 um, and combining those to basically create any uh, value of attenuation that I want. So we're just going to focus with 10 dB increments today. We'll go down to 50 dB and then we'll look at 30 dB and then compare that to 30 dB selected in Power SDR here. Hope you enjoy. This is November India Zero Zulu on with the video. <laughs> At the tone, 23 hours, 39 minutes, coordinated universal time.
the dawn, 23 hours, 41 minutes, coordinated universal time.